Okay, well, let's move on to the big one, the Gold Cup, and we'll, we'll no doubt discuss Cortostan Denver, but first of all, with, with Paddy here, first of all, Imperial Commander, who came within a, an eyelash of beating Cortostan, that must have been absolutely agony in the Betfair Gold Cup at the Haydock, but it was, you know, you shows, but you could, on your day, you can beat him, and he loves Cheltenham. Yeah, the, the, the Haydock race, like, it was absolutely no fluke. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was an experience for me because... We, you know, we went a nice gallop, and from four furlongs out, I started picking it up, and I'd never been that fast at the end of a three-mile chase in my life. It was really you knew you were sort of in a different type of race, and you were up against a horse that you that you knew you had to give the utmost respect for because, you know, not alone is Kato Star a super horse, but he's a fighter as well, and he's got absolutely everything. But on the day, I was good at to lose. Um, I thought I'd won, and obviously the result went against me, but. Um, we took a lot of positives out of the race. Paul said he left Kato Star short on the day. Yeah, I'd agree a little bit with that, but I just think um, Imperial Commander, he's he's very special horse, and you know the Gold Cup for him and for me is, is a very massive occasion. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. He, um, you know, if 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 he if he finishes second to Kato Star, I, I'll be more than happy. I just think he, he's in the form of his life, even better form now than he was this time last year. I think he's physically fitter. Um, which you need to be. The trip for me isn't a concern. I think he'll get the trip. Um, and as I say, if, if he doesn't win a Gold Cup this year, he's for the future and he's still a young horse. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to riding him. And on the long drive to Catrick, for instance, today you must think about the race an awful lot, how it's going to pan out, how, how the race is going to be run. I mean, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, obviously, yeah, all these thoughts are going through your head. I, I have the utmost respect for Dinman and Kato Star because for me, they're brilliant for racing and, and they get everybody talking, but... I just think it's a horse race. Kato Star, he only has to make one mistake or, 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 or Dinman to make a mistake and, and, and they're just bang there. He's, he, he's a very exciting horse. And I think, you know, just forget about the King George because at Christmas, Nigel's horses do go on holidays and they, they, they simply aren't right. We shouldn't be running them, but he, he's in the form of his life and he, he'll give Kato Star a race. What was your view on Denman up to the point of his, well, first of all, the mistake and then departure? How well was he going before he made that bad mistake, do you think? I was surprised actually turning down the back I thought but when you see Tony looking around turning you could tell he wasn't that happy and you know I know he went into the race last year sort of with, with lots of doubts but I really couldn't have him at the moment I just I can't have the horse and I hope for for Dinman himself and, and his connections he runs a massive race but I honestly think it's coming pr pretty soon for a horse that looked you know stopped so quick at Newbury I really can't have him on the day. So you'd be mighty disappointed not to finish in front of Denman in fact? Yeah, it's a big statement to say, but I would be if I, you know, if I don't finish around Denman, I, I will be disappointed, yeah. Okay, just moving down, Mark, what's your view? I mean, Denman, is there any way back for him? I remember saying last year, I couldn't have Denman, you know, the preparation. He'd had the same thing again here. Uh, I agree with, with Paddy. I thought he was beat, you know, when he made a mistake anyway. But, uh, look, Tony said that when he, you know, he wasn't the same horse. Denman, you know, when he's on fire, didn't you? I mean, in the. Uh, in the energy, you could just see the old exuberance. He just wasn't there the other day. And when an horse has had just a problem with his heart, what he's had, he's so hard for him to come back. He may be hard as you believe the NSC bollocks him this year. He had top weight, he ran his heart out again. And maybe that was it for him, you know. He's, you know he's, he's, he's done a lot of racing, put his, put his heart into everything. Maybe he's just too genuine, too, too, too good for you know, too game for his own good. Uh, I couldn't have him a counterfeit, they can't give him away at the moment. It wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't turn up because Harry loves him so much that if he's not right, he won't run him. It's as simple as that, isn't it, Paddy? They're not going to risk him, are they? No, they I mean, if he, if, he put, if he retired now, we still remember Denman winning the Gold Cup in the two Ennises. We never forget that. He goes down in history as one of the greats. No one's going to say, fair enough, boy, you've, you've done your bit. And he's just drifting, Gal, isn't he? Well, what price are you on the machine now? I'll, I'll think he'll be a five to one chance. I think he'll be bigger, Gal. Or bigger, yeah. And if you c at the moment, you can lay evens a place, them. And, and that's a great play. That's, that's a, great that's a big, big, big lay. You know, you remember, could... remember on Betfair, it is, it isn't non-runner no bet. No, you do your be money. Be very careful. Yeah. You do your absolutes. You see, his anti-post rules apply. And you know, I love them and the death. I'm a fan of Harry's, me and Gary both are. But you have to look at it as a professional and just say, I can't have it. Paddy's been with horses all his life. He knows that you know he's. 
It's going to be. I thought it was a monumental effort for Paul Nichols to get him back anyway. Having spoken to vets in that about horses who have this heart problem, to so actually get him back to win a Hennessy was a tremendous performance. Yeah. And maybe, you know, that's, that's just done a bit too much for the poor horse. He wasn't the same animal. I think the value there, Mark, because all the firms are betting without the favourite. And if, you, if we want to, like, take them and out of it, Imperial Command, I think mean, he's a 7 to 1, 8 to 1 chance, you know, without the favourite each way. And you've got four chances, you know, I, I think, I've, I just want to be against them. Man. Yeah, I'm with you, Gal. Uh, they also are backed in the race at 100 to 1, 80 to 1, 50 to 1, 40 to 1, which I tipped in the paper. It's Tricky Trickster. Yeah. I think he's the also everyone's forgotten about. He won the four-miler last year. Did you ride him last year, Paddy? Yeah. I know you didn't ride him in the four-miler, but what's he like as an horse? Yeah, he's a lovely horse, but, you know, he is, he is slow, but at the same time... Yeah, he does stay very well, and I could definitely see him run into a place. You, you remember there, is, the goal, there is a chance he could get placed. I mean, the Gold Cup, the likes of Comanche Court, uh, we were talking about it earlier, Harbour Pilot, uh, some of the other horses, uh, the, the Kings, not Kings, what was the other um, Robert Horner animal? Who, who cool plays it? Cool Sir Rembrandt. Ball. Sir Rembrandt, that's him, horses like that. Welsh national horses, in fact, Gavin. Um, who do get, who, <laughs> because they do go ahead of a gallop in the Gold Cup, and everyone looks at it and says they always go shit from a shovel in the Gold Cup. It's always a really strong run race. And Tricky Tricks is a young animal. I mean, Paul was basically training for the National in running over hurdles at Fontwell. And it was a marvellous race the other day at Newbury, wasn't it? There's old Ruby having a quiet chat round the back, having a cigar in third place. You know, the National waits for three days later. All of a sudden, Denman falls. Oh, Christ, I better go and win this now. And he, he makes up about ten lengths on Niche Market. It was nobody's mug. You know, it's won an Irish National in, in fourth in the Hennessy. And suddenly he picks them up and off. And, and as we see with Big Fella Fanks, once that got handicapped for the National, it's a stone better horse next time, isn't it? And Paul's been very, very bullish about tricky tricks in the last week or so. And I still think at 20 to 1, he's a, a, a great bit each way, caught the odds of place, or, was, or, or, with, or without the jolly, as Gary says. I don't know, but you, you know more, Paul. Do you think he had not got the class to win a, a Gold Cup? Which one is that now? Tricky Trickster. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I don't. I'd be, she'd be a shock result for me if Tricky Trickster won. Well, I'll, I'll send you down a crate of champagne just to drown your sorrows, Paddy. There's been a bit of talk in Ireland about, I mean, the main, uh, the only Irish hope really is Cooldine. He ran a, a, a much, much better race in the, uh, in the Hennessy yeah. when he was second to John Cole. Won the RS, run the Sun Alliance last year. I don't think, I don't think the form was anywhere near, nowhere near as good as Imperial good, Command. No, the Sun Alliance was an awful race last year. I mean, nothing, anything's come out in one out of it, is it? It's one of the worst Sun Alliances ever. Um, again, you remember last year, Cordine had the problem with his feet and was, you know, lame before the race. Maybe that, that done for him. Uh, but he couldn't have beat John Cole the other day, and John Cole's not even in the Gold Cup. Paul Nunn don't think it's worth his place. I mean... If it wasn't trained by Woody Mullins, I think it'd be a much, much bigger price. And I wasn't getting strong vibes about it over in Ireland, uh, Bob, to be honest with you. Andrew. Um, I disagree slightly with Cooldown. I think he's had excuses since his RSA win. I mean, he ran badly at the Punchestown Festival, but he always does. Uh, he ran badly first time out this season, but he always, run, he always needs his first run. Mm. But I, th I think, you know, he, he peaks at this time of year and, you know, he'll run a race, as not, not the worst each way bet in the race, about uh, 12 or 14 to 1. But the one I like, though, is um, Paddy's Mount Imperial Commander. I mean, I used to think he was a pure two and a half mile horse, but that um, Haydock run against Cato uh, changed my mind. I think the key is that he, he needs a good break between his races. He's had seven runs when he's been off the track for 50 days or longer. He's won six of them, beaten a nose by Cato Star and the other. When he's been brought back to the track more quickly, he's won just once from nine starts. He loves Cheltenham, and you know he, he's he, you know forget that run at Kempton last time. He hated going right-handed as well, hated the track, and um, you know he'll he could you know improve again. I think. And does the trip hold no terrors for you, Paddy? Not for me, but you know obviously it's 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 a, into the deep water when you're going that extra two furlongs. But he handles Cheltenham so well, he should he should get it no problem. Gavin. No, I'm, 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 with, I'm, I'm with Paddy here. I like this Imperial Commander each way. I can't have cool dine on my mind. I don't think the RSA form's worth anything from last year. Um, and Schindler's Hunt's run the other day behind him just said, you know, how good he is. I think he's, I think he's bordering on a 170 horse, but no more. We talk about the RSA form. What about um, Carruthers, who finished fourth in that race? He's come out and done well since. He um, has. He hates Casey it. Jones finished fifth, won a graded race first time out. And of course, what a friend finished sixth, and he's won a grade one and finished second in the Hennessy. Yeah. Carruthers, Carruthers just hates Cheltenham for me. That's what I'll say on him. And what a friend. He just didn't turn up that day, even though they franked the form. I know what you're saying. But for me, the, 
The second horse home, the Harrington horse, has done nothing, has it? I'm not sure he's even been out, has it? Maybe. Um, I know it bolted up, but it wouldn't be for me at that, at that price anyway. 